guys, it's Ursus Venge, and welcome back to Aqua Infinity. In the last episode, our, um, our booking quill for the subscriber garden kind of got eaten by a goat, but, uh, don't worry, because I got it back. Uh, see, everybody's names are back in the book. I even added Pedro, Piggy, Quinn, and Luna, or Lulu, to the book. Uh, so everything seems to be safe and sound, but, uh, to keep it extra safe, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it in my backpack. Uh, just in case, uh, any goat gets a little too, uh, curious and starts looking inside the tree hollow. Uh, I'm gonna just keep this on me now. Uh, it might just keep things, uh, safer. Uh, because, especially since the last time I lost it, was trying to put it back in the tree hollow, so I'm keeping it forever. Okay, just carefully put that back in my backpack. And I have a lot of things to organize. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through my inventory and my backpack, see what is necessary to bring with me and what is not. Uh, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So let's head back to our house and uh, see what we can clean out of our backpack. Uh, hello puppies, you got Uma and Daisy and Ariel. I don't take you guys out enough. I think somebody's gonna come with me on an adventure today. Uh, let's bring Uma. Since you need food anyway, let's just go ahead and, uh, give you some pork chops. Here you go, Uma. There you go. Oh, no, no. You come with me. Uh, let's see if I have, uh, everything else to put away. Okay, so some stuff was put away with the, uh, what, what even is this? Drawer controller. That's what it is. Uh, just in case you didn't know, I can right, double right click that and, uh, stuff from my inventory goes back where it belongs on the wall. Unless it has nowhere else to go. Wait, pet ammo. There's only two in here. I think I can put up to eight in there. Oh, I guess I can't put any more in there. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put those in there then. Okay, so this is the subscriber garden one. Let's put that back in my backpack. I have so many different kinds of tacos. <laughs> I don't know if I need to bring these all with me. I also have a lot of coconut shrimp. Um, okay, so I don't need to bring these firework rockets with me. I had gotten these medallions for the dolphins that we named the last episode, Flotsam and Jetsam, but they actually wound up not even needing medallions, so it worked out. Uh, Illuminati pets come with me. Loot pet I don't really need, but pet I don't really need. Uh, fairy lights I can put away. Okay, so we have lots of tools. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna need them all for our adventure. For example, I don't know if we're gonna be to shoveling anything, and I don't think we're gonna chop down any trees. We have lots of food. I'm, ch I'm just gonna leave all of the food on me, just in case. What's Illuminati pet got for us? On cooldown? How? I didn't even use it! I remain 24 seconds! Alright, fine. We'll wait for, we'll wait for Illuminati Pet. That's fine. Not sure why I had a clock in my backpack. Ooh, Illuminati Pet's ready. I'm not sure why I had the clock in my backpack. Um, but I guess it's, uh, it's still daytime. So, uh, maybe we can use this to tell when it's time to do fireworks. Although, it seems like it's pretty much high noon. So, maybe, maybe we can just look out the window. Illuminati Pet, what you got for me? Home bookcase. All right. And here you go, Illuminati pet. You know, we never really completely filled up this wall full of tools. So I think I kind of want to put some of my tools here, at least for safekeeping. So this one has Morganite on it. Uh, this blue axe. Ooh, okay. Just, that doesn't really belong there anyway. Put the blue axe there. Uh, my sword. Um... My sword is kind of a mix of colors, uh, but you know what? This one doesn't have anything for uh, any sword on it, so we'll leave it there. Uh, what is this bow? Power two. All right, I guess we'll hang on to it. Um, let's see. This one is pink and blue. Maybe we'll put you there. Uh, and my pickaxe is pink. Let's put you there. Okay, cool. Oh, you know what? That worked out because now one of them is on each of, of the of the thing, except for the pink one, which has two. But you know, that's that's fine. Uh, all right, cool. I guess we'll leave that like that for now. And um, I mean, I'll just take this bow and use it for now. That's fine. Uh, do I have any arrows? I'm pretty sure we can make some arrows real fast. Arrows. There we go. And we'll just hang on to the rest of the sticks. <gasps> oh, the moon is rising. The moon is rising. Time for some fireworks. <gasps> oh, look at the stars go. Oh, I don't really want to use that one. <laughs> There's no more fireworks. That's, that's fine. Um, what? What's that over there? It looks like there's something floating in the water over here. This... <gasps> oh my gosh! 
This totally looks like a message in a bottle. I wonder what it says. Not for you, zombie. You can't look at this, zombie. This is for me. I found it. It's mine. It says negative 640 and 680. What is this? Okay, you know what, zombie? You're making it a little bit difficult to read. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and take you out there. Okay. Let's see what this says. Oh, sir, you guys want a party too? I'm just trying to read a message in the bottle and you guys are all just out here trying to like, interrupt me. You know, Uma, maybe we should just go inside. All right, it says, deep below the water's tide lies a secret we no longer hide. Follow the draw of the siren's voice, a song which once is heard gives no choice. When beckoned, you must leave what she desires, a light of life, a flicker of fire. Gaze at the waves, hypnotic and blue, it needs only a touch to pull you through. Having been left in the siren's wake, you're left with a thought, adventure awaits. <gasps> Uma. Girls. This sounds like a quest. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, this sounds kind of morbid, uh, but also weirdly intriguing. I don't really know what it means adventure awaits though i'm pretty excited about the adventure awaits i feel like we should go on an adventure today uh and figure out what the meaning is behind this little message in a bottle who left it uh or rather how did it wash up on shore i know that that's kind of the nature of messages in a bottle uh but who sent it and why let's go find out uh, Daisy and Ariel, we will see you guys later. Uh, but for now, let's go head off on our little adventure quest. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, I want to know who sent the note. It's pretty exciting. It looks like negative 640 and 860. Uh, looking at the upper right. Um, it's going down this way and going down this way. Oh, okay. So it's actually pretty, it's not that far. Um, and it's in this direction, so we should be good to go. Uma, let's head to the water. I have my squid pet, and we are ready to go. Ooh, wait a minute, what's that? What's this down here? I swear, we're so close to spawn. How did I not see this here? Okay, let's see what this is about. What the heck is this? Um... <gasps> oh. My. Gosh. How long has this been here? What even is this? This is- Oh my gosh, that sound is just so loud. Oh my goodness, what? Uh, let's- Let's look at the book. When beckoned, you must leave what she desires. The light of life, a flicker of fire. Uh, I, I guess- I guess we'll leave fire here. Maybe this is some sort of offering? <gasps> oh no. This is so strange. It's like a another portal, but it's not even the right color. What? Why is it this teal color? It's so... I don't even know why, but it's just so drawing. What did the book say? Adventure awaits? Come on, Uma. Let's go. <gasps> Whoa!